We've got a special box opening today for someone who would probably like to remain anonymous. No, I'm just kidding. Their initials are DB, and every time I hear the initials DB, I just think DB Cooper. I don't know if anyone knows that story. I don't want to get off the rails already as we are about to crack into this amazing The First Chapter box, but I am excited to keep digging in to Lorcana. Mr. DB said, you know what? I see the channel. I see the box openings. I got to get in. So here we are for Lorcana box opening. If you're a channel member, you too can get on the box opening action. It's $139 to have everything shipped to your door. That's right. That is the price out the door for each and every one of you. And if you haven't caught the last box opening yet, I got to tell you, you need to. The first pack right off the bat was insane. And this first pack is nuts as well. Rapunzel in the first pack, letting down her hair so we can look at some of the beautiful Lorcana goodness that we have coming our way. Now, since the last recording, we have updated sales in the system because you guys know what we do here is we track every single sold listing of sealed product on TCG Player when it comes to the trading card games that we follow. And Disney Lorcana is just continuing to pop off. I don't know, oh, that's the foil. I was like, I don't know why I put that up there. Oh, the poisoned apple. Speaking of the foil, look at just the subtle glint on that foil. It's freaking beautiful. And since then, like we said, Lorcana sales are continuing to increase and we are finally seeing an increase in rise in the Floodborne sales. Make sure you're subscribed. We will be doing a video on that and that sales data. We do at least one Lorcana video every single week for the lore kind of sales data and updating everyone on where that's at and kind of our thoughts on the game, the community and etc. Our first super of the pack. This is one of my daughter's current favorite movies. Absolutely loves it. And for those who don't know, I'm actually growing out my hair. Ooh, grab your sword. I'm growing out my hair. So maybe if I grow out my hair, get in the gym, get amazingly attractive and a bunch of tattoos, I'll go as Maui for Halloween next year. You know, what do you guys think? Let me know. What, could I cosplay a good Maui at my size for those who I'm a I'm a I'm a very husky large human let's just put it that way Corolla Deville Maurice and the Maleficent in the foil rare so the rise of the floodborne coming around for the first time is something you love to see I am a big fan seeing that each set you know becomes more and more viable and as boxes reach an affordable price point which is the reason that I do believe Lorcana sales were held back for the time that were who the queen and a foil be our guest love to hit these foil songs in here nice little hit there um, I love to see the price. As the price trends downward, we see sales going up. Now, for those who hear that statement, you might think, well, of course sales go up and price trends down. People want to get cheaper product, mother. They want to get cheaper product. They, Oh, wow, look at that double super pack and the tangle foil. They want to get cheaper product and they want to enjoy the game at an affordable price. Well, that's not always just a given. If you track trading card games as much as I do and kind of get immersed in the world, you will note that if a game doesn't really have true demand or if it doesn't have a lot of people waiting on bated breath or real interest as we get, oh, the Tinkerbell foil. This is actually a good little foil hit. If it doesn't have that real interest, you will see as prices trend down, people stop buying because instead of being excited about you know, being able to get their hands on product or get something at an affordable price point, they are a bit concerned as to the future of the game, the value of the stuff that they have bought and things like that. So the magic brew which always looks like butt cheeks to me, the magic broom. So it's great to see Lorcana trending in the opposite direction. And actually, you know, after updating the sales data, the first chapter at, you know, we're in mid-December right now. We're about at the holiday season. We're in mid-December. And the first chapter has officially sold more products, more sealed products in December than it did through all of November. And we are coming up on matching release month sales. That's right. The affordability of this product is a massive win for the game's future. Oh, Minnie, my daughter, loves these. She goes nuts for these mini cards. So it's great to see for the game's future. It's great to see some genuine demand coming through as we get our foil Captain Hook. Wow, that is dark. 
that foil there see if we can get the camera to show it off it is dark i've said it before i'll say it again i'm actually uh, i'm a bit of the, a fan of some of the subtle foiling I, you know i'm so much of a fan i'm just gonna smack the camera while i open that pack i'm a big fan of some of the subtle foiling that you get in uh in some of these card games and some of these packs I, it's something i actually really do enjoy a genie and if you haven't watched here's the hint if you haven't watched the last video go watch the last video oh wow Jeez, that's so dark. Like, I love the way that you move it around and then all of a sudden the light hits and it's like, bam. That's crazy. So far, pretty average box. I think we're a little behind on our rates right now. DB Cooper, don't go jumping out of a plane. Come back here for us. Stick around. Have a boat snack. Getting into the back side of this pack. We see another poisoned apple. Ah, ha, 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 ha. There we go. The legendary Maleficent followed up by ooh, Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful race. Hakuna demonetization. My videos don't make money anyways. <laughs> that got real. That got real. All right. All right. Hold on. Hold on. My ego, guys. My ego my emotions just in just in time uh our ego is blasted and fires the cannons fires the cannons the shock of lord conwell surgery speed you, you know what i'm saying you know what i am saying i'm still i'm still reeling from the little inadvertent self burn that just flopped out there oh no rough rough day the doctor the stitch oh and the foil stitch you go back to back stitch coming in here so it's been something that's been a lot of fun to track um the Lurkana is a gateway tcg again just a ton of potential there's a lot going on in disney's Lurkana as far as getting people involved in the cardboard hobby as we skip you know the pack was like no i don't want this skip to the good stuff give me that beautiful mickey mouse in the super rare oh and the mother look at that look at that foil super rare let's go um, I really think it's going to introduce a lot of people who wouldn't other otherwise have been familiar with the notion of trading card games, much like Pokemon did for my generation. Now, the 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 test of time is still the big test for Disney's Lorcana and Ravensburger, as you saw at the beginning of these last two videos. Olaf, do you want to build a snowman? Oh yes, I freaking do. Uh, I, actually, I don't. Snow is cold. I would I would be really interested to see like if it sticks around what it does for you know our our generation or the new generation of trading card game fans enthusiasts players collectors whatever it might be the mickey mouse oh okay the hans hans and the archimedes look at that purple the the purple for like oh just the deep the different purple tones that you see in the wings and everything just beautiful you love to see it if you guys what do you guys think so i know that in my in my circle especially on my channel and in our in our community there are a good number of Lorcana skeptics and that's fair it breaks a lot of the rules it does things that tcgs don't otherwise do but we have to work together to love the things that we love to experience trading card games and keep them alive and i want to know do you guys think Lorcana is going to do that do you think it's a good product for the people out there purchasing the product and do you think ravensburger most importantly has recovered do you think they've really come around and and, and changed enough to make the game more sustainable i personally do <laughs> there we go okay i was getting a bit nervous i didn't want to let the nervousness show but i was getting a bit nervous and we do crack the hades and the one jump out of the bread line one swing out of the sword i steal only what i can afford and that's everything so i i listen oh my god i'm in so much trouble for making these who knows does the youtube demonetization policy extend to poorly singing songs from your childhood if so like i'm definitely screwed look at zeus here wow that's always such a cool version of Zeus. So neat. Ooh, the Robin Hood. Let's go. The Robin Hood. That's a good little hit there. And the Stolen Scimitar hitting the pile here. We're down to the last four packs. Uh, Disney Lorcana is something that has brought my family together around trading card games. It's something I'm really excited for. And hopefully it keeps you guys excited. And again, if you're new here, if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, or if you like a lot of what we do around here, or, you know, hey, you're just feeling generous and want to support, make sure you hit that subscribe button because it helps the channel. We are racing to 72 
50 subs and then from there it's onward and upward to 7500 the march to 10k does not stop it cannot stop it will not stop i won't stop we are on our way to 10k that felt you know with with all you know in the spirit of disney that rhyming scheme didn't feel too bad we got the b prepare which is a great rare hit something you're definitely going to want in your collection big shout out to db and the symbol the symbols <laughs> The symbol crash. The Simba followed up by the Aurora. I've opened too many Lorcana boxes recently. I'm starting to mumble my words as we get into the last couple packs here. Big shout out DB for the support. If you want to get involved in your channel member, it's $139 to have everything shipped to your door. So make sure you let me know. You can email me at hometowntcg at gmail.com if that's something you want in. And the maximum is this card in the starter decks. This card just feels nuts when you're playing like that starter level of play. Oop. Aurora, what are you doing in the wrong pile? And the Stampede! There's a Stampede in the Pride Lands! <laughs> so thank you so much for hanging out today. We have a last pack magic. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Come on. Last pack magic. Last pack magic. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Hades. <laughs> yeah! Last pack magic worked! Let's go, DB! The last pack magic, it worked. And we got, this is my favorite card. This or boat snack. This or the boat snack, just because my daughter absolutely, she's got a little toy frying pan and she freaking loves it. Holy cow. What a cool little box here, DB. This has been awesome. Everything is coming your way. $139 for channel members. We've got five boxes left as of the recording of this video. I will update that in the comment section below. Thank you so much for hanging out today. Until next time, you guys know me. My name is Josh and we, well, we'll see you around. All right, goodbye. <laughs> Look at this. That is so cool.